I can regenerate anything. I haven't had anyone come to me that you couldn't regenerate. I had a spinal bifida case uh, born without L4 and L5. Now that's the lumbar to the kidneys. Three years on raw, she has L4 and L5. I've had cases of incredible regeneration, uh, spinal injuries, severe scoliosis, everything you can name, your body can regenerate. It's incredible. There is a blueprint. Hi, I'm L, and today we're talking about, oh no, wait a minute, actually, I'm Gary with Gary Unfiltered, and L was nice enough to have me on her channel, so today L and I are going to be exposing Dr. Robert Morse, who likes to look at jars of urine and stare at eyeballs for some unknown reason. Thanks so much for being here, Gary. For those of you that haven't heard of the good Dr. Robert Morse, he has a 100,000 subs strong YouTube channel, as well as a clinic in Florida, a website locked down tighter than Fort Knox, and even a British business outpost for his disciples to buy his detox plans and herbal remedies. Brought up on a farm, when he was building a house in the 1970s, one of the men that came to work brought nothing but raw food for lunch. That set Robert on a path to learning about the so-called power of raw food and fruititarianism, which, as you might guess, means that you eat nothing but fruit or a mixture of fruit and seeds. This journey led Robert to a Southern Baptist's orange grove, where he ate nothing but those oranges for six months. He readily admits that the diet caused hallucinations, but claims that those hallucinations were really his connecting with a higher power, thanks to the better chemistry and magnetics of that kind of diet, because no bizarre lifestyle description is complete without a religious experience. To put it simply, Robert claims to believe that the body can heal itself. His core teaching is that disease is a myth pushed by Big Pharma and the food industry. There are reams of pseudoscientific information by Robert designed to confuse the vulnerable into believing that Robert is an expert that can be trusted. But to best explain the garbage, Gary will kindly read the simplest explanation written by one of Robert's disciples on the Facebook fan page of a cancer survivor. And it states, I am a detoxification specialist trained under the world-renowned healer Robert Morse, N.D. Cancer is a natural process the body goes through when it is overrun with toxins where acids and cells are damaged. The body encapsulates the damage to keep it from spreading. Children inherit genetic weaknesses from their parents and toxins when they are hooked up to their mom's lymphatic sewer system in the womb. So the parents of children with cancer are also at risk. People with weak adrenal glands, low corticosteroids, have a harder time fighting these acids and are more susceptible to damage, especially in genetic weak areas. Radiation and chemotherapy are themselves acidic and only add to the damage long term, causing the cancer to get worse and mesticize. The only way to get rid of cancer is to get rid of its cause. Animal products, all meats, dairy, eggs, refined foods, Processed junk foods like chips, refined sugar, white bread, caffeine, etc. These all create metabolic acidosis and excess mucus production, which clogs the lymphatic system, the sewer system of the body. As cellular and metabolic waste are trapped, the body becomes acidic, cells are stimulated, and eventually atrophy. Beginning with genetically weak areas, this is the cause of all so-called diseases. Toxins and parasites also play a role in damaging cells. When we detoxify, clean and energize the body with fruits and specific regenerative herbs, our natural God-given diet, see Genesis 129, our body is able to restore the damage and heal anything from acne to ALS, including all types of cancer. The media who relies on ad revenue and input from Big Pharma and the food industry will not give consumers the whole truth for fear of alienating their biggest supporters and losing their support. I personally know many people who have healed from various types of cancer, some of them very advanced and others incurable diseases through the simple process of detoxification. Visit greatgate.com forward slash testimonials to see many of their stories of regeneration. Now back to you, Elle.
Perfect, thank you. But yes, you did hear that correctly. Robert teaches, and then his disciples go on to teach, that cancer treatment is harmful and that the body can fix itself using the lymphatic system. I'm no doctor or any kind of medical expert, so I'm going to leave links that explain the lymphatic system to you guys in the description. But essentially, that isn't how the system works, and that dismissal of important medical treatment is genuinely dangerous. The way that they insert religious and spiritual beliefs into their so-called expert knowledge of health and the body is an obvious red flag. But when you remember that there are plenty of people out there suffering, feeling lost and hopeless in their lowest moments, the promise of a miracle without terrifying medical treatment is an easy way to pull the vulnerable in and part them from their money. Health fads and diets aren't new either, and the sad truth is that so-called alternative medicine isn't fully regulated. In fact, in the UK, where our laws tend to be stricter, the only regulations that exist are against herbal remedies that include the use of poisonous plants. As long as the remedies aren't marketed as a cure for something, then there's a massive grey area that's perfect for snake oil salesmen. Looking at Robert's beliefs coldly, it seems pretty obvious that he has no idea what he's talking about, but he has a cult-like following that hang on to every word that he says. Take, for example, a Yelp review left on Robert's Florida clinic. Anyone who gives less than a five-star review... Ale, where's my background? Like, what happened? Ugh, don't this look much more prettier? Thank you, Ale. Anyone who gives less than a five-star review, in my opinion, is either looking to blame him for their poor lifestyle choices in life, haven't given true health a chance, or they are his competition looking to attempt to make them look bad. There is no reason that Dr. Morse has or deserves less than a five star. He is one of the select few put on this earth to teach the rest of us about health. If you are not open to listen, then keep struggling to find the answer, Confucius say. You won't find answers if you are not understanding the body. When someone hands you a winning lottery ticket, you take it. Straight to the bank, I would. Maybe some of you are not ready for the winning ticket, but we will all just watch you from the mezzanine level and know that some people just don't want to win a lottery. It's just that simple. Back to you, Will. Those aren't the words of a client that's had a good experience. Those are the words of someone that's been brainwashed. And like I said before, the cult is spreading. Although Robert is based in Florida, one of his disciples set up a UK branch of his to sell his remedies in Europe. If you want, you can also spend £1,395 on a 14-week detox and book filled with pseudoscience that can be debunked by teenagers that barely paid attention in biology. But then there's the £750 course so that individuals can waste their money to claim that they have that official pseudoscience certification from Robert himself just so there can be more people out there happy to harass cancer patients and survivors with blatant lies to make more money, all hinged on exploitation. The thing about the UK is that businesses are forced to be completely transparent by law. Robert Morse's actual US-based website is another story altogether. When you click on that website, nothing meaningful can be read and no products properly shown unless you register as a member. After some standard about words, there's a helpful section to tell the public how to join. And this is where it starts to get really weird. It seems standard practice for a pseudo-scientific set of beliefs to talk about how their false truth is somehow being suppressed. The alarm bells really start to go off with the mention that freedom of association is protected by two US Constitution amendments, because as far as I'm aware, that isn't a normal worry for a random US business. But what's really worrying is the next point. It says, Activities are restricted to the private domain where state and federal agencies have little or no jurisdiction. Robert's business is based in the US. If a legal activity is going on behind some members-only website, then state and federal agencies absolutely have jurisdiction. Why would Robert be paranoid about the authorities looking at his website if there's nothing illegal going on? To sign up for the website, there's a standard need for a name and email address, but then you need to go to a shopping cart page to buy the free membership. Now, on an ordinary website, it's easy to breeze through clicking a box to agree what's presumed to be a standard terms and conditions page, but like everything else Robert Morse touches, there's more than meets the eye. First, the membership terms. If you want to read through the whole thing, and you should, just pause the video. But I want to get specific. Aside from the manipulative mention of the US Constitution that's included to try and state that the business itself can't be held liable for anything at all, this section is really troubling. According to the membership terms, you are not allowed to look at anything on the website unless you're already part of the cult or interested in being part of the cult. You're not allowed to investigate and you are not allowed to share anything suspicious that you may find with any regulatory boards. 
And then, further down, there's yet another mention of the US Constitution. At first, I was startled by the fact that the word evil was included in supposedly legal terms and conditions, but that's actually a reference to the now defunct clear and present danger test in US law, which basically talks about what limits there needs to be on freedom of speech, and was superseded by the imminent lawless action standard in 1969. So not only is Robert Morse ignorant about health, but he also believes that US standards that haven't been used in literally 50 years are relevant and will somehow protect him and his cult members from legal action. The real problem with looking into Robert is that last line though. I don't want to be sued, but like the terms and conditions state in the very next section, we can withdraw from the agreement at any time. For any trigger happy lawyers, I'll say again that I looked through the website because I was interested, agreed to the terms on the website, and then used my rights to withdraw from the agreement, and then decided to tell you guys about it. So no, I don't agree that there'll be any legal proceedings against me, and I have my freedom of speech because there's no danger involved with my speech. That good enough Robert Morse? Perfect. Of course, there aren't just the membership terms, but also the usual terms and conditions. There's more of the standard that I'll let you pause and read. It shouldn't be a surprise that there are more of the same kinds of worrying additions like the repetition that you're not allowed to use the site if you're going to share the contents with others who aren't members or with any kind of federal or state agencies. And of course, that the business has absolutely no liability for anything that happens ever. To finally become a member after agreeing to those ridiculous terms, Robert then needs your full name, address and phone number. Because of course he does. I'm not going to get into arguments with people that are interested in alternative health because I don't need the headache. The thing is, for anyone innocent that's interested in learning more about their health and think that Robert could help them, even the self-assessment page states that even before doing anything else at all, they will have to pay $200 for a personal protocol that doesn't even include any herbs. Not just that, but the self-assessment itself is a 12-page goldmine for Robert to exploit any hint of weakness to try and shell his herbs. Aside from selling those herbs, the $225 for an initial consultation and another worthless course for $1,284, Robert has the audacity to have a section dedicated for members to donate to him, with a drop-down box that goes from a dollar all the way up to a hundred dollars. The blatant cash grab isn't the only offensive part of the website, though. It's not really a surprise that Robert is anti-vaccination, but when you remember that the term allopathy means science-based modern medicine, Robert is so dangerous that he claims that modern medicine is harmful and the biggest killer of people today, all to line his pockets. The cult surrounding him is so toxic that individual disciples are out there publishing books that, for example, tell people that they gave themselves cancer and that with nothing but a change in diet, they can cure themselves. That kind of thinking is a death sentence to the vulnerable. It's one thing for someone to believe in something that's wrong and then spread it because they think that they're doing the right thing. It's still frustrating, offensive and even dangerous at times, but at least there's a comfort that they're simply ignorant and need education. But in my opinion, that isn't Robert Morse, because Robert Morse has allegedly lied about his credentials to fool his gullible disciples. On his actual website, Robert gives nothing about his credentials except for the ND, DSI, and MH letters after his name. ND means neuropathic doctor, DSI is the incorrect DSC to denote doctor of science, and I'm at least partially sure that MH means master of herbs, and no, that isn't a joke at his expense. As an interesting side note, 22 US states regulate naturopathic doctors. Robert practices in Florida, and Florida happens to be one of the states where they're not regulated at all. Like Gary read out earlier, the website Grapegate seems to be an officially sanctioned website designed to give more people information about Robert, but his credentials there are different. Robert claims to have degrees in naturopathy, naturopathic medicine, biochemistry, iridology, herbology, nutrition and fitness, but is very cagey about where they actually came from. His two alleged doctorates, one in biochemistry and the other in naturopathy, are claimed to come from Brantridge Forest School in Sussex, England. The problem with that is that the only surviving mentions of Brantridge Forest School exist in classified ads from decades ago, which only mention alternative medicine and philosophy-based degrees. Not only that, but offering a British degree suggests that Brantridge could have been offering nothing more than a long-distance certification mill service to make people look more intelligent than they were. It's also on a list of schools that have no accreditations, which I'll link below. Much more strangely, on the website Sacred Reality, Robert claims to have his biochemistry degree from Brantridge, but his naturopathy doctorate changed to a naturopathic medicine doctorate from the Southern College of Naturopathic Medicine, which is a school that was sued by the state of Arkansas for selling fake degrees and scamming unsuspecting people. 
It seems to me that if Robert had been genuine and found the degrees that he'd been given were allegedly fake, then he wouldn't continue to use them as an excuse to claim that he's an expert. Instead, he decided to change his story to use a now defunct school that can't be found to hide what looks to be a lack of education. To me, it looks as though Robert has created a world of pseudoscience and spirituality to try and con as many people as possible to give him as much money as possible. The older that he gets, more money is coming from brainwashed disciples that he can sell horses to so that he doesn't have to waste time with vulnerable clients himself. The man, in my opinion, is dangerous. His disciples, in my opinion, are dangerous. And what he teaches about health, from cancer to autism, is dangerous. So now that you've seen the basis of the alleged scam and who Robert Morse and his followers actually are, this is where Gary takes over. Follow the link for part two. I'll see you there. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, or don't do any of those things because I'm not your mother. And as we say in The Sims, dag tag.